Hey community, we're back, and I'm Brandy V, the community MP. And I'm Brandy G, the community MP. And together we are... BNB, the community MP. Yes. So, t today we're going to oh. yeah, continue our... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Urinary Track series. Yes. Which has been a long series. It's been but a I long series. You enjoying it. So, we're trying to, like, break the topics up so we won't give you too much information at one time. Yeah. So, we're trying to shorten the videos because I noticed that sh shorter videos, pe more people... Since so watch them. Yeah. Okay. Because we know y'all got busy lives out there. Yes. But yeah, so today we're talking about UTIs in kids. So okay. urinary tract infections in kids. Okay. And that's basically just bacteria entering the urinary tract system, growing, and causing an infection. It can be in the bladder or the kidneys. Okay. So some of the possible complications With of um, urinary tract infections in kids. It can cause scarring of your kidneys, mm -hmm. which is renal scarring. It can cause hypertension because if mm -hmm. those kidneys get scarred and get damaged, mm -hmm. you can have high blood pressure. Yeah. And also it can cause renal failure, yes. which will lead someone to have to be on dialysis or yes. something like that. So that's why it's super important to get, like if a kid has a urinary tract yes. infection, that they get treated quick. Okay. okay. And so some of the risk, risk factors, uh, boys younger than one and girls uh, younger than four are at the highest risk. Yeah. And, and that's probably just because of hygiene and their inability to clean yes. themselves. Um, and then, of course, being uncircumcised puts yes. you at a greater risk. Having an indwelling catheter, which is rare in kids, but, yeah. you know, some kids... I have a couple of um, patients, like teens, that... Have that. Yeah. yeah. And then um, if, you're, if the kid was born with the undeveloped urinary system, yes. that can put them at higher risk. Um, and it, which goes to, like... Mention an inadequate bladder or constipation <laughs> also puts you at risk. Happening, having a history of UTIs, and also I just want to mention that recurrent UTIs can be, you know, a sign of sexual abuse. Yes. So, like, if you are noticing your child is having like recurrent UTIs and you're not understanding why, the doctor doesn't know why, then you know that should be on your radar. All right. So, what are some of the signs and symptoms? I guess that parents need to look for. Um, pain and mm -hmm. burn on urination if you complain of that. If you see that they're going to the bathroom frequently, mm -hmm. like even at nighttime, or they may be wet in the bed more often mm -hmm. if they wet the bed. Um, pain in the lower stomach or in the back. Mm -hmm. Fever, that, that's a that's a red flag. Yes, if they that's, have fever. That's usually ER. Yes. Foul odor, may mm -hmm. have an odor or a smell in their urine. Maybe they're not emptying like they should. Um, like we said, stomach pain. Yes. And younger children, you may have fever. Fever may be the only symptom. Yeah, yeah. Because they, and well, in younger kids, you know, they're not able to verbalize, yeah. like, what's going on. So you just have to pay attention to, like, their yes. mood. They may be irritable or fussy. They may have fever. They may not. Yes. They may stop eating as good, losing weight, or not gaining weight at the rate that they should be. Okay. So how do we usually diagnose a urinary tract infection in kids? Is it the same way as an adult? Yeah, it is. So okay. you do the urine testing. Mm -hmm. um, like it can be done in the office. Okay. Send it out for a culture just to make sure you're treating it correctly. And then um, for kids, because um, you always want to just know the anatomy because you're like, why are they getting urinary tract infections? And it could just be they're just more prone to them. Yes. But we check the anatomy with the ultrasound of the kidneys and then uh, the voiding cystorethrogram, okay. um, which looks at, to make sure the urine flows in the correct direction. Okay, all right, so treatment, usually treat with oral antibiotics, mm -hmm. usually five to 10 days. Mm -hmm. um, they should start to feel better after 24 to 40 hours. Yes. So this is a big problem I will see with a lot of my patients, kids mm -hmm. and uh, um, adults. Yes. They will start feeling better after one or two doses and they'll stop taking the yep. medication. What do we want them to do, B? Take all of the antibody, take the full course, because if you don't, what happens is you feel better, but that bacteria still is still in there, and so it, then it just grows even stronger. But what if I feel better and I want to save it for later, just in case I may get another one? I want to save it, so I want to come back to see you to give me another prescription for the Well, more medicine. than likely, you're going to get another one because you never <laughs> finished treating the first one, so... Take all of the antibiotics. You can, we, there's plenty of antibiotics in the world. It's okay. Take all of this one, come back and see us, and we'll give you some more if we need to. But if you're having them back to back, then we need to figure out why anyway. Okay. So.
Right, this is a question that I used to have. Yes. Like, I used to yep. do that. <laughs> I used to you say, used to do that? Oh, my Take gosh. some of my antibiotics and save them for later. Yeah. So when I start feeling better. But, <laughs> but not anymore. I know better. So when you know better, yeah, you do, do better. better. Okay? <laughs> All right. So let's, ha- let's talk about how to prevent um, okay. UTIs in kids. Get circumcised. Yes. For the, for the, do you recommend that boys get circumcised? I do. Okay. Yes. Okay. Proper genital hygiene. Mm-hmm. Wipe. How do you wipe? From front to back, side to side, from back to front. <laughs> Front to back. All right. Yeah. What about men? Their butts. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe your butt from front to back. Okay. okay. So one of the things that I notice that you do a lot um, is you drink a lot of water. Yeah. So increasing your water consumption mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. can also help. Yeah. Also it may, so so since we're talking about kids, you might have to remind them like, hey, drink some water, drink some water. Don't just load them up on sodas, caffeine. Juice. Juice, yeah, because <laughs> caffeine actually irritates the bladder. So yes. you want to just focus on like water, honestly. Caffeine make me go. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, well, it irritates your bladder. <laughs> All, right. All right. So if they have constipation or other Get bladder problems, you want to treat it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Don't hold your urine for a long time. So you can no. tell that for kids and adults. Don't yes, hold your yes, urine. Yeah. And wear cotton underwear because it's breathable. It, it yes. holds in less bacteria. And um, if, uh, about the age, you know, when kids start going to school, then stop the bubble baths because no. <laughs> they're swimming in a lot of bacteria <laughs> and that bacteria just goes up the urinary tract because they're sitting the in the water. Baths. I like bubble baths. Game's over, baby. <laughs> get in and get out. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. And I, I agree. I'm just yeah. playing, y'all. I agree. But, you know, Start like, for adults, you know, another thing is, like, hot tubs and stuff. Yes, yes. So, breathing ground mm-hmm. for bacteria. Yes. Yes. And they yeah. get into that system. And voila. Yes. You, you coming any... to see us? Yep. Yes. Which we like to see all that. Yeah. I don't know if y'all like to see us. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. So, that's pretty much it for urinary tract infections in kids. But, yeah. So, just... Remind your kids to drink a lot of water yes. and then just watch out for those symptoms because it can happen, uh, although it's not, it doesn't happen all the time, it's but, common, but yeah. yeah, so now you know what to look for. Okay. So I think we done covered like everybody. Yes. We done covered women, men, kids, old people, yeah. young people, people. Yep. everybody. All right. everybody. All right. <laughs> so I think this is going to be the end of our urinary um, topics. So, all right. Yeah, I think it is. Yep. I think so. Well, y'all see. But if not, (laughs) we'll be back. We'll be back. (laughs) But yeah, so disclosure. Just remember, this information is educational information only. It's to educate you, your family, um, spark a conversation between family and friends. Mm -hmm. It does not take the place of your primary care provider, period. It does not take the place of your primary care provider. Parents, I know you bring your kids to the doctor. You probably more often than once a year. Yeah. But um, where can they follow us? Facebook, Instagram, mm-hmm. YouTube. Mm-hmm. We also have an email address. <laughs> I know. Y'all can't email us if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah. So, yeah, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, share, and then, of course, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Interact with us. Yes. Let us know your concerns, your questions. Give us topics you want us to, to yes. discuss. Yes. And yes. share your experiences with us. Yes. If and you want to. And you, I mean, if you don't want to put it like so where everybody can read your comments, just DM us or email us. Yeah. Okay. So why do we do this? Because community Community is is our beauty. beauty. Have a great day, y'all.